hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so today in this video i'm going to tell you that how you can fill the form for upsc geoscientist exam all right in case if you have not watched about the all the notification and eligibility criteria and all i'll give you a link uh, to watch that video over here all right so this video will be a step by step guide to fill the form and this is the website where you have to reach out i'll give the link of this particular website in the description of this video so that you can directly come up to this particular website all right now there are different links the first one says that one time registration for examination of upsc and online application second says online recruitment application that is ora for various recruitment post and there are different other uh, links but which link you have to fill or which link you have to click is this first one okay one time registration for examination of upsc and online applications now once you click on this you will be taken to this particular kind of page where there are two things which you can see here one says new registration and the second one says that already registered and email address and all the things now in if, if you have ever filled a form of upsc whether it is upsc geoscientist of year 2022 or if you have filled upsc uh, like um, uh, for uh, civil services exam in all those cases you must have done this one time registration okay this has been included from year 2022 and it has some benefits i guess in the last year i told these things for the applicants who have filled this so basically one time registration means you have to just fill your personal details only once and you have to upload your documents only once okay and this one time registration will keep all your data digitally save with you and whenever you will be applying for the next exam all you have to do is just uh, fill your old uh, one time registration details and all the form will be filled automatically okay so that is one thing which is a benefit of it so since we have filled the form last year for upsc geoscientist so i have the details of one time registration in case if you have filled upsc geoscientist 2022 form in that case uh, or 2023 uh, form okay upsc geoscientist 2023 form if you have filled in that case you must be having your own email address uh you can click on this get otp to get the otp if you don't remember the password and then you can fill this verification code and login and your uh, like you can fill the process or fill the form uh for the uh, rest of the process but those who are doing it for the first time first of all i'll tell you for those okay so those who have not done this one time registration any time for them you have to click on this new registration button okay again i'm telling this new registration button is here also and here also you can click any one of them okay so either you can click on this one also so once you click you will be taken to this particular page where you have to provide your basic information under one time registration so this particular thing will include your name as per your class 10th you have to verify the name that means you have to fill the name again uh, have you ever changed the name you have to up, uh, like provide whether you you have ever changed the name if in case no then please don't know okay sometimes people make changes in their uh, spelling of the name that's what that's where you have to do this you have to fill your gender you have to verify the gender that means you have to again choose the gender and then you have to fill your date of birth then verify date of birth that means you have to again fill the date of birth okay uh, then father's name then again you have to verify that mother's name again you have to verify that minority status whether you belong to any minority community or not then your mobile number your alternate mobile number your email address your alternate email address your class 10th board examination roll number your security question 1 security question 2 captcha code and then you will submit so this is going to give you a basic uh, like uh, one time registration thing okay so here as see it says like you have to give all these information which i have just told you once you will uh, do this registration in that case uh, you will be having your you know uh, all the id and all the things will be there and then you can proceed to fill the form later on okay you have to just uh, like once you do this one time registration you will your data will be saved with upsc and then you can go ahead with the login id and password and fill the form all right so as i said this one time registration will be useful if you are uh, like uh, aspirant and who is filling form of upsc every year or in every few years or in every few months in that case this particular process will save lot of your time okay that's why this has been done okay so i guess you all will be able to do this now i will uh, like uh, uh, tell you that how you can do or you can basically log in using your 
if you have already done one time registration okay so after the one time registration what you have to do is you have to fill your registered email address you have to fill the otp or password if you remember password it's good if you don't remember the password you can click on get otp and you will get your otp on the email address you can fill that and the verification code and login okay so let me do that quickly okay one more thing you can also log in using mobile number as well okay so in case if you don't remember which email address was uh, like uh, linked or which email address i have used for the last time for one time registration so you can use the mobile number also okay and if you remember one time registration id then that's well and good right so uh, yeah i'm just going to do that uh, using my email address and i'll just show you what happens in the next step so once you will log in you will see this type of page where important instructions will be there and in the recent activity you won't see anything over here all right so this is this thing you will get only when you are going to have a uh, one time registration okay remember one time registration once you will do then only you will see this type of page okay after logging in so where you have to go now there are different options here on this particular uh, like tab you have to go to this latest notification okay so go over here and it says that there are two forms available one is engineering services preliminary stage one examination 2024 and the other one is combined geoscientist so this is the one whose uh, notice date is 20th of september and the closing date is 10th of october so this one is showing right now not active because i have not filled this particular form what i have to do i have to select this particular one okay so here it says right update slash edit otr and here it says click here for part one so in case if i want to edit my one time uh, registration whatever i have done uh, for that i have to like let's say there were some mistakes in the last time when i did one time registration in that case uh, it says that update edit for one time registration or examination application form other than otr okay so i can choose any one of these option and it will take me to the portal where i can make the corrections okay as you can see over here this is my uh, one time registration details which you can which are over here all the details are there so if i want to make any changes i will uh, select over here on update profile and make any changes this is only you have to do if you want to make any changes over here okay let's say the last time um, uh, like there was something uh, which you did wrong and now you want to correct it up you can do it over here so if you don't want to make any changes in your one time registration which i guess most of you don't have to do then you can click here that click here for part one okay once you click on this you will be asked uh, you will be given some instructions you can read about them okay it all says about that what size of photo and all those things which you have to fill just click yes over here okay have you read and understood all the important instruction just read once there is nothing important over there like there is nothing like it's important but it's nothing like which you don't know okay i'll be explaining you don't worry about that so click on yes and now this is your part one already filled okay you don't have to do anything all the details are there just few details will be there which you have to again feel like your marital status because it is quite possible that a particular person a has uh, the marital status has changed from the last exam which he has done so there are few more information that might uh, that uh, you might have to fill like your educational qualification for this particular exam so now there are different options here okay if you are filling for chemistry of course you have to select ms in chemistry or applied chemistry or, or analytical chemistry and then your address you have to fill uh, you have to fill a community to which you belong and uh, whether you belong to pwd category or not and uh, that's all if you have done all those things then you have to do continue over here okay so i'll quickly fill these things and i will uh, continue for you and now you have to they will ask whether you are claiming age relaxation okay so age relaxation is allowed for those who are ex servicemen or who are working uh, like who have worked as a government servicemen uh, you can look upon the notification for this particular purpose in case if you are not claiming any age relaxation then you have to press no and continue okay now they will ask for your photo id card uh, what photo id you want and then your photo id card number then confirm photo id card number and upload a photo id card okay so uh, your photo id can be either aadhar card driving license pan card passport a uh, photo issued by central or state government or voter id these are the options for your photo id so let me quickly fill and tell you so remember that your photo id document needs to be in pdf format only okay so make sure that you are uploading in the pdf format whether you are eligible category for service completion for so 
uh, which post you want to apply. So there are three options. One is chemist group A. There are 13 posts for this. One is chem scientist B. There are two posts for this. And if you apply for both chemist group A and scientist group uh, B, which will be like you will be competing for all 15 posts. So I will recommend you to select the third option. Okay, that's the best thing which you have to do. Now you have to select the exam center for your stage two that is for the mains exam okay so select the exam center based upon the options given to you and then again you have to click on this continue and go ahead so now your part one will be filled all the details are shown to you okay all the things are over here all your information is here this is the benefit of filling one time registration so you don't have to fill each and every detail here in case if you want to make any other changes update over here but if you are happy with it you can just go ahead and give the captcha code so i'll just quickly do that and click on i agree okay it says once you agree no changes will be permissible in part one registration say yes okay fine so this is your part one done okay so your part one of the form is done you have received your registration id your name your father's name mother's name date of birth address everything will be mentioned here and now you have to pay the fees okay so I'll suggest you to take a screenshot of this particular page and then you can pay the fees. Okay. Why I'm telling you because registration ID, although you might have got an email by now uh, with all the details, but yet again, for your safety, just keep the registration ID with you. Now, since you are done with it, you have to go for pay examination fees. Click over here and they will ask you to pay the fees. You can pay with any of the mode, whether through Chalan or by internet banking, I will suggest you to fill or pay through internet banking. So click on this and this option you won't get if you are a female candidate or if you are someone who belongs to SCST category. Okay. So in that case, just click here. Uh, like you won't be getting the payment option. You will directly get the photo and signature option. Okay. So if you belong to general or OBC category and a male candidate, then you will get this. Uh, so I'll just quickly pay and I'll get back to the next step then once you will be paid with your fees once you have paid your fees this is the page which you will get which says your transaction status is successful your registration id will be there your transaction id will be there mode of payment will be there amount will be there date will be there and successfully completed is will be written okay now once you will be done with the payment now you can continue to fill the rest of the part so once you click here you will be like given that you you will be again taken to this particular page where it will say that part one is done you can view the part one and fees paid. Now you have to upload the photo and signature and you have to do center selection. These two steps are now required for part two registration. Okay. So I'll quickly do this upload photo and signature. So here I have to choose a photo and a signature. Okay. So quickly I will do that. All right. So once you will upload your photograph and signature, this is how it will look. Remember that it is very important to uh, follow the instructions. That means the size should be more than 20 KB and the other instructions which are given according to that only try to make your photograph and signature both once you are okay with it just click on continue and now you are done with this part also now the last part is required that is center selection and agreeing to the declaration you have to click on this particular one and now you will be asked to select the exam center you can choose the exam center there are many of them i'll choose one of it and then there is declaration you just have to say that yes i have read the declaration and i agree to that and you can finally submit to this so once you click on this for the application status now your whole form filling is done so you have successfully submitted your application form and for application status of this exam you can just click on this and now it will show in your dashboard okay you can come to your dashboard also and here it will show in that in the recent activity you have filled the form for combined geoscientist preliminary exam 2024 and part one and part two completed so that's how you will fill the form this is how your full form will be completed okay your form will be filled completely that's all for this video i hope you understood how to fill the form if you have any doubt uh, on any of the portion or any of the section you can ask me in the comment section below i'll try to answer you over there itself that's all from my side thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care